Hello friends, welcome to Code Crush Coding. In this video, we are going to learn how to count the number of digits in a number. So let's say if you have one integer data type for the variable num1, let's say we have a number as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and we need to count how many digits are there in a number. So we can count here there are 5 digits in a number. So how to do this with the help of a programming statement. So we can do this with the help of arithmetic operator. So how to do this? Let's understand this first. So let's say we have a number as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what we will do? We will try to divide this number by 10. And we know when we use this arithmetic operator and when we try to divide by 10, we will get the quotient. So when we divide this by 10, we will get the output as 1, 2, 3, 4. Because it is an integer value and it will not store the decimal point. So we will just get this particular output 1, 2, 3, 4. And now when we divide this 1, 2, 3, 4 by 10, so we will get here 1, 2, 3 as the quotient 123. Now the updated value of number is 123. So when we divide this 123 by 10, then we will get 12 as the output. And when we divide this 12 by 10, we will get output as 1 or quotient as 1. And in final step, when we divide this 1 by 10, so we will get 0 as the quotient. So how many times we have tried to divide this number? Let's count 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th and 5th. And these were the number of digits we were having in the number. So this is the logic. So whatever number you will get, you will try to divide that number with the 10 and you will continue these steps till the number becomes 0. So that is the logic in which you can identify how many digits are present in a number. So the same thing we will try to do with the help of programming statements. So as you can consider here, we are repeating the number of states like we are executing the same thing multiple times. So we need to make use of loop. So in this case, we will make use of while loop. So let's see how we can write the code here. So we already have a number. So let's say we have a number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what we will do? We will say here while while number not equal to 0 because when number will become 0 we need to stop our execution. So here you can see whenever we get the last output at 0 then we not need to execute the statements further. So we will say while number not equal to 0 we will need to repeat certain statements. So what we need to do? We need to update this num every time by dividing it by 10. So each time we will get the updated value of num. Let me print that value here. Sys out. And we will print the value of num here. So let's run this code first to see what we, the output we get. So here you can see the first time the value of number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So num is not equal to 0. So here the execution will come. So it will get up divided by 10. So the first time we will get the output as 1, 2, 3, 4 only. Then 1, 2, 3. Then 1, 2. Then 1. And finally 0. So in this way, the program is running here. But what we need to do, we don't want to print the value of num here. We need to count the number of digits. So whenever your code will come here you need to make use of one of the variable to increment the value so how you can do this you need to declare one variable here let's say int count and let's say it is initialized to zero and every time the loop will come here or the control will come here you need to increment the value of count so for the first time when it will come it will generate the output one two three four and increment the value of count from 0 to 1. So here the count value will be 1. Then here it will increment to 2, 3, 4, 5. So you will get here the number of digit as 5. And we will print that after the loop. Sys out. Let's print here number of digits is equal to and then we will print count. 
Now let's run this code. So see we are getting a number of digit as 5. So now let's increase the number of digit here. Let's say 6, 7, 8. So total 8 digits are there. And if I try to run this code. So I'm getting here 8. If I reduce here. Let's say we have only 2 digits now. If I run this code. So we are getting here 2. So the simple logic here. Is using a while loop. Each time you need to divide the number by 10. So you will get the quotient. And you need to repeat this. Till the number becomes 0. So in this way you can able to get the number of digits. So that's it in this video. We will cover another coding questions in next video. Thank you for watching.